Well, I'm here in uh, Yorktown, Virginia, of course, at the Yorktown uh, Market Fair, and I'm with Jason, the blacksmith, and oh my gosh, it's Goober the Traveling Bear has come to learn all about blacksmithing. So uh, I'm going to take it over to Mr. Jason. He's going to give a couple minutes about blacksmithing here before he gets a big crowd. Take it away, sir. All right, well, blacksmithing in Virginia started in uh, 1607 when, when John Smith, when they landed at the James, what's known as Jamestown now, and they brought with them pig iron. Pig iron is just raw iron that's been, poured, that's been uh, smelted and poured into a wooden mold. It looks like a pig's trough, so it was called pig iron. Um, and from that, they would make all their armaments. They would make nails. Nails were the number one commodity for settlers. Um, and, and uh, everyone throughout the colonial period. And an apprentice would have to make 5,000 nails a day. So nails are the way to go. And uh, you can't build anything without your nails. So, but what I'm doing is uh, I do a frontier style traveling forge. And we talk about the accoutrements that are needed for a frontiersman, a colonial person to survive. Uh, a lot of hooks, a lot of uh, skillets and cooking utensils, things like that to use around the house to, to make life a little easier. And what I'm working on now is I'm making uh, J hooks and S hooks so that we can hang things from different, you know, the poles, the trees, things along those lines. And uh, they were real common. Those are one of the most common dig finds that we have. Between that and shank hooks, uh, everything had to get hung up. They didn't have closets, they didn't have wardrobes all the time, so hooks and, and nails, that's, that's the way we go. Very good. Well, I uh, really appreciate you giving me a couple minutes of your time. No problem. And uh, thank you for being on my YouTube channel. And uh, stay safe, be kind, and be courteous, everyone.